Hello and welcome to Krav Maga at Yale. This semester is a little bit unorthodox, but we're going to try and learn this amazing sport virtually. My name is Michelle and I'll be your instructor. I would be a junior at Yale, currently taking a leave of absence, but I've been doing Krav Maga now for five years and I'm just really excited to teach you this amazing sport. So Krav Maga is an Israeli form of martial arts developed for the military focusing on practical self-defense and endurance and physical fitness. So throughout this class there will be moments of physical fitness, lots of endurance training, uh, self-defense techniques, combatives, defensives, and then also the actual defensive movements of what to do if someone truly attacks you in a practical way. Um, Krav Maga is not simple, but it's realistic and it's optimized. And it's made to protect you. Um, so please know all of these things that you learn here should not be used as violence against other people. They should be used to protect you and keep yourself and your loved ones safe. Do not instigate any attacks. And in fact, we won't be learning how to instigate attacks. Everything we learn is defensive. Um, so, Krav Maga in itself has one number one rule. The number one rule of Krav Maga is there are no rules. Unlike other more structured forms of martial arts, um, there's no bowing, there's no specific areas where you can hit, there's no limitations. You, you can bite, you can punch in the groin, you can kick in the chest, you can do whatever is necessary and practical in order to make yourself survive. Because honestly, if you are practically using Krav Maga, it is because your life or health are in danger. And please realize that. But if you're practicing this, especially against other people in a controlled environment, please make sure to stay safe and do not hurt your friends and family. Because, again, your friends and family do not wish you harm. Uh, so it is important to use protective equipment if you have it. Anyway, let's get started. So today we are going to learn how to punch. Um, so the first thing to do is to make a fist. Now in your fist, your thumb should be on the outside of the rest of your fingers. It should not be inside. And this part should be flat. You're going to be impacting with the two big knuckles. So go like this a few times just to figure out, kind of feel that force so that it hurts this hand least and this hand most. All right, so once you kind of really feel that solid, try it on the other hand. All right. So, um, the first punch is a jab. So if you're right-handed, the jab is going to be with your left hand. And if you're left-handed, the jab is going to be with your right. So I'm right-handed, I'm going to be demonstrating with my left hand. Um, and actually, in a punch, um, it may seem that the most important thing is the arm, but actually it's the legs. So let's start with the stance. So we're gonna stand, start with the front stance. For a front stance, if you're a dominant righty, step forward with your left foot. You should be, your legs should be approximately shoulder width apart, um, and you, there should be some distance, both horizontally and vertically here. Then your knees need to be bent. Bounce back and forth a few times, really feel loose, like you could really go onto either foot, front or back. Now try it on the other side. It should look kind of like this. Adjust yourself, you should be really, really stable. I suggest one of your friends or family coming over and shoving you, and you need to see whether you can hold their weight. If you can't hold it, try putting your legs further apart, or maybe bending them a little bit more, or just really leaning into it. So, for the jab, your legs kind of go like this. So there isn't as much rotation here, but either way, your torso and your hips really turn, well, if you're a righty, towards the right. Um, so it kind of looks like this. Sometimes my front heel turns a little bit, um, but really just make sure you're stable here. Now, once you're well positioned with your legs, it's time to punch. So your arms rest here. Then it's a position from which you can block easily, which we'll get to blocks another time, um, or you can punch easily. So the jab punch um, in it, your hand starts here, and as mentioned before, as a righty, you, punch, you jab with your left hand. Your arm extends while your body turns. Specifically, there's a pivot 
on your legs. You're shifting your weight a little bit more to the back leg. And you punch forward. So my arm extends and it lines up with my left shoulder. It's right in front of me. And my other hand stays here, ready to block potentially or to go into the next punch, which is a cross. So the jab is like this. The jab is very fast. It's not meant to be super powerful. It's just meant to kind of stun your opponent. So again, this is a jab. Precise and fast. All right? And for a cross, your legs stay the same for right-handed punches. So for a cross, if you're here, you'll notice my back heel lifts all the way up and I'm pivoting on my toe. So jab, cross, jab, cross. Jab cross, jab cross. Really, really turn here on the cross. Point where your hips are pointing should change. All right, so this is the front stance with the left leg in front, so the right-handed one. And on the right, the left-handed one. Again, here we have jab, 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 cross, 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 jab, cross and really, really stay soft. The next punch is a cross. While the jab was fast and precise, the cross is a little slower and more powerful. The cross, if you're a righty, is with your right hand, and if you're a lefty, is with your left. And essentially, it starts over here, and then it moves across to the same point that you were punching at with the jab, but much more powerful because it comes from further away. So, again, you straighten, but you don't want to lock your elbow completely. You straighten it, and then you bring it back. So together, jab, cross. The power from the cross, uh, once again, really comes from the legs. Um, as I cross, I lift my back heel up and pivot on my toe. So in this case, it's my right. So it goes across, and that's really what allows me to turn like this. If I kept my legs stationary, it would be like this, which risks me, you know, pulling something in my back or not even reaching my opponent. So that's the cross together. The jab and the cross look like that. One side note, when punching, you never want to bend your wrist like this. For many people, that is the default. Really make sure your wrist is straight on both the jab and the cross and then you bring your arms back here. Now another important piece of the fitness is the Krav Maga push-up, which we will be using to build our arm strength. Krav Maga push-up is not exactly like a conventional push-up. Um, you begin in a normal push-up position, you go all the way down to the ground, lift your hands up off the ground, and then push yourself up. You really want to focus on keeping your body completely straight the entire time. I will first demonstrate the full push-up. It's a very slow version of it. Generally, you look more like this. And the modified push-up for those who are still building their arm strength. This is on your knees, like so. So, generally, to level up in Krav Maga, um, one needs to be able to do 30 such push-ups in one minute and 50 Krav Maga sit-ups. Now, Krav Maga sit-up is pretty similar to a typical sit-up, but I will demonstrate here. So, you start with your hands touching the ground behind, you sit up and touch your feet, and then go all the way back, like so. There's not a modification for this, though of course you could go slower at the beginning. Um, Alright, so those are the main two fitness components um, of testing that we shall be doing. Now, let's begin our first really short, easy fitness session. Really focus on your technique here and really make sure you're doing everything right. I will do it slowly in front of the camera.
So hopefully that was not too bad. Every week will be a little bit more difficult in this regard. Thank you for joining me in this first lesson of virtual Yale Krav Maga. Bye, and remember, stay safe in every way.